Hello and welcome to my channel, Planners by Christine. Today I am super excited to share with you my newest daily life planner. This one I love because it has lavender flowers as the background on every single page. Maybe it's because lavender is my favorite color, as you can see by the shirt I'm wearing, which I didn't even think about when I put it on this morning. But I just love the look of it with those flowers in the background. It just makes me happy. And I'm going to have some other daily life planners with different colored flowers a blue themed one, a pink themed one, and those will be coming soon. But in the meantime, make sure and subscribe to my channel so that you'll know when those are available. And let's get started. So as I said in my intro, I just love the purple. In fact, I realize I have a purple nimble grip, so what do you know? So this is my new Lavender Flower Daily Life Planner, and this is the cover. And let's go ahead and take a look at things. So first, let's just go to August. As you can see, it's an undated planner, so you would write in the dates. So I'm gonna just select a date, and this is what the daily looks like. You've got a place for your appointments, your focus, tasks, meal log where you can keep track of your hydration, but every single square is tied to its own unique daily spread. Then if you go to the, the weekly spread, there's one tied to every little square on the left here, and you can put the date in the top. You can decorate it however you'd like. Now in addition, we have the self-care. We have one for each month, so let's go to September. And also on September's monthly spread, the little heart is tied to that same page. On your self-care page, the way you can use the sleep tracker if you want is you bring up your highlighting pen and you can highlight the square to show the time you went to bed and the time you woke up and then you'll have a whole bunch of lines where you can kind of compare throughout the month to see how your sleep was. You can put in habits you'd like to develop and mark off the days that you do the, that habit. You can write down this number of steps you take each day. We have a meal planning section and here for each week you can write down what you want to have for each meal throughout the week and write up a grocery list and if you're familiar with good notes you know that you can duplicate this. To do that you come up to these four squares, you click the drop down arrow and choose duplicate and now there's two of them. So you can do that as many times as you want. We have a finance tab and there's one for each month. So here's September. And again, if you go to the monthly spread, you can click on the little piggy bank to go to that month's finance page. We have a reading log where you can keep track of the books you've read. And of course you can duplicate this as well. Book title, author, date, finish, and these little stars where you can give the book a star rating. So you can remember if you liked it or not. We have a projects tab where you can write down the projects you're going to do. And there's this little area over here is for project inspiration. And just a little tip if you come into Pinterest for example here is wainscoting we're going to be painting our family room and we're going to have wainscoting so this gives me some inspiration the way that you can go onto Pinterest and bring that image into your planner is you use your Apple pencil and you go like this and it takes a screenshot and then you can drag this over to crop it, press done, save to photos. Now, if I go back into GoodNotes, I can go to my camera roll. So I click on the, this tool, click on the camera, and there it is on my camera roll. And I can bring this in, make it smaller, of course. And now I have that for inspiration in my planner. We have a goals tab, daily, weekly, monthly, one year, three year, five year. There's a vision board where you can put whatever inspires you. And then on the dashboard, we have links to all of the monthly spreads and to self-care, meal plan, and etc. And then these fields here, there's 18 as you see, and they match up with the 18 little squares on the left. So if I click on one, I can write in whatever I like. In fact, I can use it to have photos. So if I go to my camera roll, I can look for a photo that I like and actually I just have a lot of planner things on here. Here's a picture of my cats, <laughs> but you can bring in images if you'd like or use it however you want. And then if you go back to the dashboard on that number one, I can write photos. And now the number one, you'll see this one also ties to the same page and photos. So you can write in each of these fields, whatever you'd like and customize it however you'd like. And these numbers match up as well. So you can use it however you want, customize it for yourself. And the other thing I wanna show you is how this planner is completely lag free. So you can go from month to day to dashboard, self-care and it just moves right along there's no lag whatsoever and in fact 
I have a tutorial that shows how you can create your own planner that's lag free if you want to check that out. Now like I mentioned in the intro, I am going to have some other flower color themes, an orange and a blue and a pink, and those will be coming soon. But in the meantime, this planner is available for you to purchase in my Etsy shop and there's a link down in the description. So please make sure and subscribe to my channel and like this video and in the future I'll show you some other planners that I have.